what is up youtube it is showtime and i am back with yet again another video and on this video i will officially be dropping the 90 vert popper build you guys have all been so desperately waiting and asking for in the comment section down below y'all been at my twitter my instagram comment section down below asking for the build after i drop gameplay if you are looking for gameplay of this build and wondering how the build plays in game i will leave a link in the comment section down below so you guys can see that but this is going to be the long way to build we're not going to waste too much time let's get straight into it all i ask is you guys please do leave a like comment subscribe and let's go so for the position you guys want to go power forward your height you want to go six seven this is the meta for your custom template and then with the weight i went the absolute max that is the difference i usually go like 268 i just added the extra pounds just to be that little bit heavier on the board um, and just heavier in general but it really doesn't make that much of a difference you could really go 268 if you want and then with the wingspan i have it at max so this is what you guys are going to have for the template i'm going to move on with the build make sure you guys slow down the video do whatever you guys do pause it to make sure you guys get it right now with these stats what we do off rip is go with the sorry i did that way too much you guys want to go 72 on your standing dunk uh i always go the minimum with my dunk animations as a popper you get away with such good dunk animations even at these lower attribute levels which is amazing that's kind of the way it's been for the past few years in 2k so this is not much of a thing to talk about but this is what we're gonna have our finishing at we're not gonna have any more finishing we'll leave it like that for the remainder of the build video now for the three point what you guys actually want to do is max it out i think it's very important that you have it the highest possible um you know focusing on things you're doing all the time in terms of creating your build is important you're always shooting the three ball as a popper have it maxed have that 79 also buy boosts and you're gonna have the best chance at hitting threes all the time now the difference in this build is we're gonna have no mid-range that is the difference um in all the other popper builds i post mid-range is honestly a waste the only reason why you're fighting for mid-range if you are would be for dead eye silver which is not that important and then also that extra shooting animations meaning in the jump shot build creator that is one thing i miss um personally my main jump shot is still supported using this uh setup but there are some jump shots that i can no longer use because i don't have that high mid-range anymore um but i honestly like it this way i like prioritizing what i'm actually using rarely am i ever shooting mid-ranges and even if i do i can hit with a 69 and this is how you guys are going to have your shooting with the pass accuracy you guys want to go 68 68 is good i will be honest i do know the difference on a 7 i do notice the difference on a 75 i have an inside that has a 75 inside i uh, sorry i have a, a an inside a 99 overall inside build and it has a 75 pass accuracy and it does feel way better than a 68 i feel like i get away with more i feel more confident i will be honest but this is the best you can get without giving up giving up anything else that's more important and 68 does work i use 68 pass accuracy on a day-to-day -day basis in the stage playing competitively so i wouldn't worry too much about that now with the defense what you guys want to do is always go 91 steel i love 91 steel having that glove gold is extremely cheesy like when someone gets a rebound you can kind of spam square on them and kind of take the ball back uh, sometimes i get a lot of the times i'm switching playing on the ball getting a hedge i blitz people having glove is low key a sleeper like it's nice to have as a big man i know it's not everyone's main priority because you're not always playing on the ball you're not a lock but having it is very very nice and then we're also fighting for that interceptor on gold with the perimeter defense i never usually go over 85 it's already been debunked that challenger is ex extreme waste of a badge the badge that i'm usually fighting for is on ball menace because i am playing on the ball a lot of the time sometimes when i have to switch so having an 85 will grant me that on ball menace on silver and then with the block i have it at an 84 uh just so i can get my paint patroller on silver i know it's only bronze but um it's gonna go higher once i get the other stats and also high flying denier which is a good chase down block badge oftentimes as big men we are in chase down positions uh when we're trying to guard the slip you know you can get a quick chase down block so that's why i have the block here and then with the rebounding what you guys want to do is make that 96 um, that way so that way we can get box out beast and rebound chaser on hall of fame and then i have my offensive rebound at an 85 that's a little bit more different than what i usually do in other builds i want to be as dominant as i can on the glass as possible that's kind of like what i'm going for so having that extra five attributes is going to help me on the offensive rebound side i'm trying to be a snagger which is like i don't know if you guys have already seen the gameplay video i've dropped of this but this build is an absolute dog i've been dogging insides it's insane and then with the speed, you guys want to go 88. You guys want to have that max speed. This is what I did for my speed. Having that max speed is extremely important for playing switch, hedge defense, and also getting to the, the paint fast enough for uh, box out positioning. Having speed is so much leverage. There's an incredible difference. I have an inside who only has an 80 speed. And I have this build which has an 88 speed. There's an incredible difference, especially on the defensive end. And I always push and um, recommend people to have high speed builds no matter what position you play whether that be lock, uh, 
well not really guard because everyone knows guard speeds are more tied to their speed with ball but as a lock and a center you should always have an 88 speed and that's kind of why i have it like this now with the agility i have it all the way at 77 i push for that so i can get my slippery off ball on gold which is going to help me get open for pops and also slipping to the basket so now with the strength this is going to be where i really differ in all my builds i'm going to go with a 91 strength now what i do is i have cat breakers this is how I, this is my method to basically getting that 90 vertical uh, what I personally did was I put my strength to an 86 and then if you add five of your cat breakers you will have a 91 strength this is how you make the build my way uh, with cat breakers this is how I did it and then last but not least what everybody's kind of been waiting for and wondering how I've got the 90 vertical 90 vertical is basically what makes this build so overpowered without the 90 vertical this is just a normal build it is not special it can't do what the things that it could be able to do with a 90 vertical you have to go 90 vertical i'm never settling for anything under a 90 vertical on any of my big men builds this is the reason i'm able to jump over people for rebounds this is the reason why i'm a dog if without this i'm telling you and I, I started to realize as i was playing the game with my 80 vertical center i was not getting rebounds getting dogged i couldn't get a rebound for my life and that 90 vertical made it all worth it and with my next set of cap breakers what i hope to do is max this vertical which i believe that max is at a 95 or 94 and i'm absolutely absolutely high on vertical all the big men in the prime are doing it playing competitive play you must have a high vertical center build or your build is just worth nothing you're cooked that's essentially what i'm trying to say so this is pretty much the build for the video now if you do not have your cap breakers i'm going to quickly show you guys a way you guys can make uh the same build sorry my perimeter defense is down one I'm going to show you guys how to make the same exact build if you guys do not have your plus five cap breakers at starter three. So if you do not have your plus five cap breakers and you have not hit starter three, how you want to make the build is just like this. Basically, what I did is I put the close shot down by five, uh, basically put down the offensive rebound by five, bring your speed down to an 86. That way you guys can get the 91 strength and the 90 vertical. Unfortunately, your build will be a bit worse if you do not have your starter, five, your starting five, your starter three cap breakers. That's just the price you'll pay. I'm sure most people by now are starter three. If you're not, you should be grinding it. And I personally wouldn't even make builds. I would hold off on making builds until you get it to ensure you guys are making the best build possible for longevity purpose and you're saving money. So like I said, if you do not have your cap breakers and you haven't said starter three, I recommend you do. But if you haven't and you want to make this build right now, this is how I would go ahead and make the build. And that is basically it for today's video. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Long awaited video, highly requested video. This is the sauce. I'm not hiding it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope to see some of you guys in the stage playing against me or uh, playing against others, dogging people. I hope this build helps you guys. Um, once again, I appreciate you guys who made it towards the end of the video. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.